Hey, what's going on guys? This is Exotic Gaming here, and thank you for clicking on my video. I'm super excited to make another Call of Duty Mobile Tips and Tricks video for you all today. And today's video is going to be one of the best ones yet, because we're talking all about kills. We all want to get kills, and we all need to get kills. At the very least, we all need to know at least how to get all of those kills. Today I'm going to be explaining how to get more kills and ultimately win in both regular ranked matches and in battle royale matches. This will be your ultimate guide to becoming one of the most feared Call of Duty Mobile players out there. Now hey, if you're new around here, I want this channel to be a big Call of Duty Mobile tips and tricks channel. So if you want to know more about this game, please subscribe and turn on post notifications. Leave a like to support this channel as I was one of the very first Call of Duty Mobile YouTubers out there. And with that being said, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, so to start things off, let's go over the single most important tip I have for pretty much any first person shooter, including Call of Duty Mobile. If you want kills, you must play aggressive. You can't play passive. If you want to play a passive game, you can play that stupid game AFK Heroes or whatever the heck it's called. You know, that annoying mobile game you always see in ads. This is a shooting game where the key to winning is engaging with enemy players and overcoming them with better skill, accuracy, and firepower. Now, in the beginning, you really shouldn't focus on winning too much. This goes for both Battle Royale and Ranked matches. You're just starting out, man. You shouldn't be immediately aiming for the best kill-death ratio of all time. No, no, no. You're still learning how all of the weapons, attachments, and maps work in this game. And you have to expect to die. A lot. The key to getting past this beginning stage, though, is to be a literal, hyper-aggressive player. You need to take as many fights as possible, as the more people you encounter, the more you practice with your weapon, and the more skill you can gain with it. Now, this doesn't mean to be stupid, okay? I'm not saying you should try and snipe people from the top of the mountain in Battle Royale with an SMG purely because you see them. Obviously, we'll go over where the logic is in taking fights in this video, but I thought I'd say it first. Be smart, but also be the most aggressive you can be within reason. So, how can you get a ton of kills on a consistent basis? Let's take a look at all the different game modes this game has. The truth is, ranked matches really will gear you toward one specific loadout, but you always can't guarantee it. One of the best ways to start getting more kills and winning more frequently is to learn how all of the different weapons work. I want to be super clear here. You're not a pro if you only know how to quickscope with a sniper. You are not a pro if you jump into Battle Royale and the only gun you know how to use is the ASM-10. You're just not, plain and simple. Because here's the thing, what if you're literally the best quick scoper ever, but you run out of ammo? You'll need to pick up someone else's gun, and they may have an assault rifle. When you pick that thing up and you've only practiced with a sniper for the longest time, you're gonna suck at the game. You'll die so fast because you'll have no idea how to control the recoil for the assault rifle, or even what range it's best used at. The whole situation you were just in could have been completely avoidable if you just learned how all the different weapons work. You need to force yourself to practice with things you're not comfortable with. Getting out of your comfort zone in this game is the key to progressing forward and ultimately becoming a skilled player. It'll take time, okay? I'm not saying this will happen in a day or two. You need to be willing to sacrifice quite a few days of below average gameplay with a gun you're not used to until you are ultimately learn how it works in a regular match. If you don't do that, well I'm sorry, because your future will not look good in this game. But hey, continuing on, I want to get a more concentrated look at Battle Royale for a second. I feel like this game mode is probably the game mode people struggle with the most in getting a high number of kills before winning. Never fear though, your struggle should start to end now after you listen to what I have to say. Let's get a basic rundown of the entire match. Here's the full game plan on what you should be doing the second you drop from the plane in Battle Royale. You need to realize that if you want to get a lot of kills, 
most of them will be at the very beginning or the very end of a match. In the beginning, most of the players are going to land at high traffic areas such as farm, launch, pipeline, or bus station. Understand that and land at those places as well. Now when you land at any of these locations in PUBG Mobile, you have to be on high alert the second you touch the ground. You need to land as close as you possibly can to where you think a gun will be and pick it up immediately. Get that before anything else. Getting a gun and then getting a vest and helmet are the top priority for the first half minute or so when you touch the ground and then you're off, man. The sooner you can get on the offensive, the better you'll be in early game. If you wait around forever picking up every attachment you can find, other people will kill you while you're still vulnerable. You need to be on the opposite end of that situation. As soon as you have your gun, go on the hunt to find enemy players who may still be looting up themselves. They won't pay that much attention to their surroundings because they're going to be super focused on getting their ultimate loadouts. You will be able to get so many kills in such a short period of time if you get your gun super quickly and immediately go on the offensive. Once you clear a decent area, you can of course loot up some more, getting the best scopes and attachments and everything else you need, but you really can't stay there forever. In Battle Royale, if you're wanting to get a lot of kills, you need to always be moving. If you land at farm, you need to clear that area quickly and immediately with either a shotgun, SMG, or rifle and immediately drive to another area, like launch, because you don't have time to wait around. If you sit there in a building waiting for the circle to get smaller, you will practically encounter no one, and you'll watch the player number shrink smaller and smaller until you realize you'll finish the game with five kills or less. And that's not fun, man. Always be on the offensive. This is so, so key. Have your headphones in and listen to the sounds of gunshots anywhere. Maybe it's a helicopter. Maybe it's another vehicle. Go in the direction of those gunshots or vehicle sounds. Get a good vantage point over where you think the enemy is. And if it makes sense, take them out. Now you don't always want to do this. And sometimes you may have to sacrifice not killing one person to instead kill many others a few minutes down the line. If someone is way on the edge of the zone, you probably shouldn't go all the way out there to them to kill them if you're traveling far away from all the hot areas in the circle where all the other players are. And also, you don't want to throw yourself in a really bad situation either. You don't want to drive into the middle of two squads fighting each other because you'll obviously die. So pick your fights the right way and always have a car to make that quick getaway you'll need. Preferably, find people who are facing away from you and that'll be a thousand times easier to take them out. Now in mid game, I'd recommend having a sniper and an assault rifle because you'll have both wide open fights in fields and from mountains and also closer ranged ones in towns. However, don't use your sniper too much because you tend to play pretty cautiously and passively if you have a sniper out. Also, this is the time to go to airdrops. Don't be stupid and drive directly to where the airdrop is but get a good vantage point on a hill or building next to it and you'll get kill after kill after kill on enemy players who come cluelessly right up to the airdrop to try to see what the loot is. Toward end game, you need to play smart. You need to not stay in the same place for too long and always rotate around the edge of the zone. That way, only people from the inside can see you and no one will be able to kill you from behind you because they'll already be dead from staying outside the zone. That way, you don't need to watch your back. Don't have a sniper rifle unless you feel very confident with it and can be very quick in your reaction time with it, and instead have an SMG and an AR if you're looking for kills. Try to pick people off with your rifle since it has a bit more damage. Give it at least a three times or a four times scope, and make sure to use burst fire to get those pretty easy headshots on people who are lying prone in the grass. And never lie prone for too long yourself. I would also recommend that you use your SMG for that super intense, close range gameplay you're inevitably going to get in the end. In the end though, with Battle Royale, most of your kills are going to be an early game and end game. So be very aggressive, but not stupid aggressive, during these times and you'll find yourself getting tons of kills 
alongside winning in most matches you go into. But we're not done yet. I do have a few more tips for ranked matches. The truth is, ranked matches are pretty straightforward. If you're looking for tons of kills here, some of my best tips are to always use your kill streaks, because truthfully, a lot of people forget to use them, and also be on what I like to call swivel alerts. Don't just run in the same direction always, okay? Swivel your character around left and right periodically, all while jumping sometimes, and that makes you a much harder target for enemy players to sneak up on. Sometimes, an enemy can be running behind you for a long time without you ever knowing, so if you're constantly swiveling around, you won't have this issue. Try to go into areas of the map that your teammates aren't located in if you're playing in team matches, because chances are they'll take a lot of your kills. Now it is true when doing this, you have a much greater chance of dying yourself, but sometimes I think the risk is worth the reward. You can get a 4, 5, 6 kill streak in just a few seconds if you go to an area no other teammate is in and all the enemy is clustered at. The key is surprising them, so you want to get behind enemy lines and try not to face them head on. The proper settings are also pretty crucial to getting the best amount of kills in both ranked and battle royale matches, so I'd recommend checking out my video titled Best Settings to Win linked down below in the description. But hey, I think that basically wraps all things up. Today we went over a pretty extensive explanation on exactly what you should do to get into the most amount of fights, and as a result, get the most amount of kills in Call of Duty Mobile's Battle Royale and Ranked Game Modes. I personally think Free For All will be your best game mode for practicing the most and getting your most kills, so once you unlock it, jump into that game mode a lot, and practice with all the different weapons in the game so you can become a pro with all of them. In the end, practice makes perfect. You won't be a pro if you don't practice, so don't expect that to happen. I hope you found this video useful, guys, and I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like rating down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for tons more awesome Call of Duty Mobile tips and tricks videos, random gameplays, and so much more. You won't be disappointed with my content I upload on my channel. Thank you so much for staying until the end, and I'll see you all in the next episode.